Welcome to Opera Jukebox. I'm Kara Schneider, Creative Director of Nashville Opera, and it's my pleasure to be your host tonight for an online concert where you pick the program. We'd love to be singing for you in person this evening, but we're really proud of some of the things we're doing to keep opera alive this season. Tonight, we've assembled a cast from as far away as Boston to Orlando and can't thank you enough for joining us virtually. Your support makes Nashville Opera possible, and we're going to give you a fun way to do just that throughout the evening with a text-to-give Battle of the Bands. We're pitting two blockbuster choruses against each other, Libiamo, the famous toasting song from Verdi's La Traviata, and the finale of Puccini's Turandot, where all of ancient China shows up to hail the brave Kala, and your donations will determine the victor. We'll celebrate by playing an encore of the winning chorus from the Nashville Opera Archive at the end of the evening. Text Toast for Traviata or Boast for Turandot to 74121 and follow the instructions. May the best chorus win! And thanks to you, Nashville Opera wins too. We'll get to the singing now with two artists that Nashville Opera fans will recognize from some major roles on our stage. Baritone Corey McKern, Figaro in our last Barber of Seville, and soprano Donielle Paston, Mimi, in our last production of La Boheme. Corey's going to kick things off with one of the most famous and most swaggering arias in the rep, the Toreador song from Carmen. Danielle follows with a lesser-known French bonbon of a song, Depuis le jour, Since the Day, from Louise by Charpentier, where our heroine revels in her love and her life which gets better every day. Judy and Joe Barker are dedicating the Toreador song to the heroic Frank Bumstead and his family. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Señor, señor, cara de glesola. Pila torero, pues o tonto, por placer, por placer, y sole como. La cita plaza suena feta, la cita plaza yo toma. Respeta tar, pega la teta. Respectator, Santa Cola, Agra Franco, Apostrofa, Criseta Paja, Pussy, Gisquez, Ala Filor, Cause la fête de courage, C'est la fête des gens de cœur. Allo, Akkad, Allo, Allo, Sick of bloody soul, 
my pleasure to sing this most beautiful aria to Judith Hodges as a dedication from Jan Van Eyes. Depuis le jour is from the opera Louise by Charpentier and in this aria uh, Louise is describing how wonderful her life has become since uh, falling in love with and moving in with her lover Julien. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm John Holmes, Artistic Director of Nashville Opera. Over the past 25 years, it's been my pleasure to stage over 100 productions for you, featuring artists who work all over the country and the world. And when you put artists of that caliber on stage with our own talented Nashville Opera Ensemble, something really magic happens. I've chosen two of my favorite choruses for tonight's Battle of the Bands, one from Verdi's La Traviata and one from Puccini's Turandot. I'll tell you a bit about them throughout the evening and we'll play the one you choose as our grand finale at the end of the night. Nashville Opera has produced Traviata five times in its 40-year history. The act you could see tonight is a highlight from 2018. It stars soprano Emily Birsan as Violetta, a role she went on to sing with the Lyric Opera of Chicago. Our Alfredo, tenor one we choice, sang this very role at the Met this past season. And our Germont, baritone Michael Corvino, who does a killer Frank Sinatra impression, just not in this show, starred in the national tour of Bullets Over Broadway. Dressed in red for passion on our color-coded set, and lifting glasses of faux champagne, you can really feel the excitement of the Nashville Opera Ensemble, beautifully prepared by our own Amy Tate Williams. In Verdi's bubbly, toasting chorus, Libiamo from La Traviata. If you want to see this scene tonight, text TOAST to 74121. And remember, Nashville Opera wins no matter which chorus you choose. Thanks, John. Our next two artists have both graced the stage of the Metropolitan Opera. Tenor Adam Deagle starred as Nashville Opera's fabulous Lieutenant Pinkerton in Madame Butterfly last fall, and mezzo-soprano Renee Tatum is making her Nashville debut tonight, remotely with Opera Jukebox, and we're delighted to welcome her to the family. Adam's delivering Puccini at his romantic best with Cavaradossi's aria, E Lutevan le Stelle, and the stars were shining from Tosca and Renee, my ship from Kurt Vile's Lady in the Dark, with lyrics you might recognize by Ira Gershwin. A Luce van le Stelle from Tosca. On behalf of the National Opera Guild, Stacy Weidelitz is dedicating this aria to the memory of Helen Brown, who was truly a star in the opera firmament.
next piece, My Ship, is from Kurt Weill's Lady in the Dark, which premiered on Broadway in the early 1940s, with lyrics by well-known composer and lyricist Ira Gershwin. Bob Beck sends this lovely song out with a note. To my wife, Meg, my partner and love of my life. Hello, I'm Cheryl Carr, Associate Dean and Associate Professor at the Curb College of Entertainment and Music Business at Belmont University and Vice President of the Nashville Opera Board of Directors. As a vocalist myself, I'm greatly moved by the art of fine singing and the power of telling stories through song. That's what Nashville Opera has been doing for nearly 40 years, and I'm proud to see it magnifying its efforts to create art in the midst of a pandemic. This fall's world premiere commission of One Vote One by Dave Ragland and Mary McCallum told one of the most important stories Nashville Opera has ever sung. Because it could not be performed for a live audience, the opera was artfully made into an original film that was shared free of charge with nearly 80,000 students in 10 states across the country. Because Nashville Opera is taking its perennially sold out education tour virtual this year. It's reaching a record number of schools and expanding beyond Middle Tennessee for the first time in its 25 year history. And because we just can't imagine Nashville Opera without live performances, the company is designing a mobile stage, Opera on Wheels, that will be taking live opera safely outdoors and into the community this spring. What a powerful tool. Can you imagine what a delight this will be for so many of our neighbors in Music City? If you haven't already done so, please take a moment and donate to Nashville Opera. Every gift is appreciated and every gift helps your opera sing bravely. The Boston Globe calls Corey McKern's baritone elegant. 
and we wholeheartedly concur. And since Nashville Opera does Wagner only once in a blue moon, we were thrilled to see your votes come in for Corey's next offering, Song to the Evening Star from Tannhäuser. Next on our program is a gorgeous aria I first heard in the movie Room with a View long before I began working in opera, and it absolutely captivated me. Daniel Paston, a Nashville Opera favorite whose career includes appearances at Santa Fe Opera, the Savin Lena Festival in Finland, and the Royal Albert Hall is back to sing it. Kiel bel sogno di Doretto from Puccini's La Rondine. Song to the Evening Star is dedicated in loving memory of Alan Patterson, Lieutenant Commander, U.S. Navy, by his parents, Philip and Teresa Patterson. <laughs>
Frank Bumstead is dedicating this next beautiful aria to the Nashville Opera staff, as well as his beloved wife, Anne. Kil Bel Sogno is from the opera La Rondine by Puccini. And uh, in this aria, Magda is telling the story of Doretta's dream of love. The second chorus competing for your votes in tonight's Battle of the Bands is the grand finale of Puccini's Turandot, easily the largest production ever mounted by Nashville Opera. Turandot features an ensemble of 127 singers and supers, and believe me, that's a lot to wrangle on a tilted staircase set dominated by a three-story Chinese dragon. Nashville Opera first produced Turandot in 2001 with the late maestro Kenneth Skirmerhorn conducting and it quickly became an audience favorite. The scene you could see tonight is from our third staging of the piece in 2015, which featured tenor John Burton as Kalaf and soprano Othely Graham as Princess Turandot. Let me set it up for you. Kalaf has solved Turandot's three riddles and technically won her icy hand, but he then poses a challenge of his own in order to win her love. If she can learn his name by dawn, he will forfeit his life. You can see why the opera's biggest number is titled No One Sleeps. After a really long night of unsightly torture, Turandot has failed, but Gutsy Kalaf plants a kiss on her and reveals his identity anyway. Turandot, completely melted, declares his name is love. This is when I always cue a gigantic cascade of mylar confetti over the entire stage, and I dare you not to tear up. Now, I can't vote, but if you want to see this iconic moment from Turandot tonight, text BOAST to 74121, and we will make it the finale of the evening. And remember, Nashville Opera wins 
no matter which chorus you choose. Before we reveal the last set, I want to remind you it'll be your last chance to text Toast or Boast in our Battle of the Bands to support Nashville Opera and determine our big finale tonight. So vote now, vote often, and vote before the end of the next set. Everyone knows you have to go out with a bang, and in opera, that can be pretty big. Tonight, we're seeing firsthand why Opera News praised Renee Tatum for her gleaming vocalism. And nothing shows it off like the habanera from Carmen. To quote the gypsy herself, watch out. And if that's not hot enough, international opera force Adam Deagle melts the ice princess in us all with the best known tenor aria of all time, Nessun Dorma, No One Sleeps, from Puccini's Turandot. The Habanera, from Bizet's well-known opera Carmen, has its roots as a Cuban dance rhythm. In her entrance aria, Carmen sings about love and who she may love today. Rachel and Dick Melton are dedicating this aria to Joe and Judy Barker. Joe and Judy, this one's for you.
Nessundorma. Tracy Pearson is dedicating Nessundorma to everyone at Nashville Opera, the staff, John, and members of both the association and guild boards. In her words, the opera is made up of beautiful people who, like this beautiful song, bring me a lot of joy and happiness. Hi, I'm Nathan Green, Vice Chancellor for Government and Community Relations at Vanderbilt University and President-elect of Nashville Opera's Board of Directors. My passion for opera extends for over 20 years. Opera is known for its heartfelt melodies and its passionate storylines. In the good times and the bad, opera is a soulful art form that touches a large audience. With so many arts organizations shutting their doors this season, I'm proud to see the Nashville Opera coming up with new programs and reaching new people. And this work hasn't gone unnoticed nationally. As the company is garnering the attention of the National Endowment of the Arts, the Ann and Gordon Getty Foundation, South Arts, and the Mellon Foundation, programs like the Nashville Opera Big Blue Fellowship that is offering voice students at TSU and Fisk free live stream masterclasses with coaching by some of the most respected black artists in the United States. In the Opera Noir Film Fest with the National Film Festival, which was just awarded best collaboration by the scene, where locally created short films vied to become part of John Hume's unique staging of Rigoletto next spring. If you haven't already done so, please consider making a donation to the Nashville Opera. Vibrant creativity like this brings the best kind of attention to our city and makes it and the world a better place to live and learn. You voted, we counted. Prepare to be dazzled. The winning Nashville Opera Chorus is...
Nashville Opera, we truly believe that artistic experiences can elevate our world. In fact, it's our very mission to create them, and we hope that you feel uplifted tonight. Thank you for being with us and supporting your Nashville Opera. We're determined to keep singing bravely this year, even when we can't do it in the theater. You are helping us expand our reach further than ever before with a virtual statewide school tour, with the world premiere opera and original film One Vote One that reached people all across the country, and with the brand new Opera on Wheels mobile stage that well may show up in your neighborhood this spring. It's a challenging time, but you're helping us rise to the occasion and bring the world a song when it needs it the most. Thank you, and good night. Oh! 